Grade 8 math, number 13.2c. I'm going to do the volume of a clay volcano and a real one. Mountains created by volcanoes are often cone-shaped. They're not all cone-shaped, but sometimes they are. And the height of a cone is found from the center of the base to the vertex, so the very center here straight up, okay? We've got our radius and we've got our diameter. And don't confuse this slanted side as the height. That's the slant height, okay? The real height's perpendicular to the base. So Emma wants to make a clay volcano for her science class, and she wants it to be 10 inches tall, and the diameter will be 12 inches. So how much clay will she need to build the volcano? She needs to know, so she can go to the store. Well, here's the formula for the volume of a cone, and basically a volcano is just an upside-down cone, isn't it? So we've got one-third, and then the pi r squared is the base times the h height. So we've got one-third times 3.14, which means because of pi, we have to start using an approximate symbol. And because we don't have the radius, we only have the diameter, we can write it as d over 2, d divided by 2, inside parentheses with the little square sign on the outside. Now the reason we don't do d squared over 2 is that means you're only squaring the diameter. And we're not doing that. The diameter is double the radius. So it's, we need to divide it by 2 first and then square it. So by putting the parentheses on the outside, we're squaring this whole thing instead of just the d. See? All right, so 1 third times 3.14 comes out to 3.14 over 3. We divide that, and we get 1.046. So now these two bring us to the 1. 0.046. The diameter is 12, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. We need to square that, and we drop the 10 down. 6 times 6 is 36. We can multiply that by the 10 and get 360. See, now we're here. And now we need to do the 1.046 times 360, and we do a little math on the side, and we get 346.56. So, it's going to be 346.56 cubic inches of clay for Emma to make that volcano, okay? All right, let's do a real one. Baracutin is a volcano in Mexico, and it's 410 meters high with a diameter of 424 meters. So what's the approximate volume of this volcano? So here's our volume formula. Pi r squared is the base. And again, we've got a diameter, so we've got to use our d divided by 2 in parentheses squared on the outside, right? So we've got our 1 third and our pi 3.14. We've got our diameter divided by 2 and squared. And here's our height of 410 meters. So just like we did in the last problem, we know that 1 third times pi is 1.046. Now, if you write that down, that's going to help you a lot because when you're doing volume of a cone, you're going to be doing one-third times pi a lot. So if you can just write somewhere in your notes that one-third times pi is 1.046, you're going to save yourself a lot of math work, okay? Now, we divide the 424 in half and we get 212. And now we have to do 212 squared. We have to multiply it to itself and we get... 44,944, okay? I'm going to drop this 410 height down. Now we've got to multiply these two together. And when we do 44,944 times 410, we get this 18 million number right here. So these two end up becoming this 18 million, 427 and 40, okay? Now we need to multiply it by the 1.046, and we do... And I got 19,274,683.84. And I rounded this 0.84 so that this would be a 4. I rounded it up. So we've got 19,274,684 meters cubed. Cubic meters. That's how much soil and dirt and rocks are in the Paracutan volcano in Mexico. Isn't that something? That's a lot of rock and dirt and everything, isn't it? Okay, we're going to move on to our next topic. We're doing volume of a sphere next in 13.3a. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.